Hello and welcome to another fantastic episode. In it, I'll be covering Zone. Zone is a play-to-earn gaming platform on Algorand, and I did just recently do a Zone video. For those that haven't watched that video yet, check out the link right here or in the description down below. Now in this episode, I want to go over the Zone AFK Elephant NFTs, all the utility that's packed within them, and then get into some more gameplay. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video because you aren't going to want to miss any of it. Now before we move on, I just want to let everybody watching know that we have started a brand new channel called The Next Block. The Next Block is our weekly Thursday show hosted by myself, David over at Crypto for Change, and C. Will over at the Passive Income Network. We decided to launch this as a separate entity, and we'd be super grateful if you pause this video and headed on over to The Next Block and subscribe to the channel. We have a lot of great guests coming up over the next couple weeks, and you aren't going to want to miss any of those. Now with all that out of the way, make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, and now let's get into the zone. So the zone AFK elephants are 10,000 unique elephants zoning in the metaverse. The utilities behind them include a weekly zone airdrop, zone launch pad, the Z pad, pseudonymous identities, winning multipliers, payout multipliers, discounted loot boxes, staking reward multiples, and transaction fee nullifiers. Moving down towards the roadmap, you'll find that the AFK elephants have arrived in the zone metaverse, the AFK elephant website has already gone live, they algorithmically generated 10,000 AFK elephant NFTs, the pre-registration is already done, the AFK elephants take over the Coca-Cola arena in Dubai, the first Metaverse War, short, is released in the wild, and the first wave of NFTs go on sale. This is what has been completed so far. Now if we take a quick look at the gallery, you'll be able to see some of that takeover that was mentioned before. Now let's see what the rest of the roadmap has in store. The rest of the roadmap includes activating The Herd on Discord at a 20% sale of the first batch, issuing zone token airdropping smart contracts for the AFK elephant holders, access to the Z pad as I mentioned before, the first Algorand native launch pad, a merch drop with well-known streetwear brands, partnership with professional athletes coupled with exclusive tiered access, integrate pseudonymous identities through AFK elephants in the zone ecosystem, power-up NFTs are going to be enabled, organizing in-real-life meetups for AFK elephant holders, an announcement of the first zone event, all NFT holders get free access to these events, and then we have some interesting language like this one, the AFK elephants revive the mysterious creatures using their DNA. Now, I have no idea what this means, but it does mean to me that you have to keep an eye on Zone because it does look like they have a lot planned for these elephants. Releasing the second part of the AFK Elephant Metaverse story, as well as the AFK Elephant show goes live featuring various AFK Elephant characters. That'll be really interesting. It seems like it'll be more of a cartoon-esque video. And, as mentioned in this roadmap, the first Metaverse War has been released, and we did take a look at that in the prior video. However, in the prior video, I didn't have the correct audio coming through the stream, so I overlaid it with my own music. However, the video is much better with the appropriate sound effects, so let's take a look real quick at the video, and then we will jump into some gameplay. Make sure to stick around to the end of the video because there will be a zone giveaway at the end for someone that plays a game and wins a specific score. In an alternate universe before the dawn of civilization, the elephants and apes went to war for complete dominion over the portal to Zone Metaverse. This is their story. In the zone, the elephants evolved to be the most intelligent species. 
rule in the metaverse. But something was about to happen. What did they find? All right, we are back. If anyone wants to purchase these AFK elephants, head on over to nftexplore.app and search for the AFK elephants in the collections. From there, you'll be able to find every single AFK elephant that is currently available for sale. With that out of the way, let's jump into some gameplay. Now, as with everything else, you're going to want to click in the top right corner to connect your wallet. This can accept Peralgo wallet, the My Algo wallet, and soon the MetaMask wallet and the Phantom wallet as well. All right, once you've typed your password in for your wallet and you have officially logged in, you can find the Zone Games in the top left corner of your screen under Zone Games. From there, you'll be able to find the Zone Battleground as well as Zone Top Gun. I'm going to begin by playing Bird Jump for an entry fee of 0.9 Algo with a prize of 4.5 Algo. Once you select the game you want, you'll get this little notification. It's a Zone Battleground Team vs. Team 0.9 Algo Challenge Amount Dynamic Prize Pool. You have to confirm your transaction. You are paying 0.9 Algo for participation. Please confirm your payment. You click on Sign Transaction, and just like every other application on Algorand, you will be prompted to input your password. Once you've entered your password and the transaction is signed, you are free to enter the game as you wish. So as you can see here, there's about 10 minutes left for this game round. There are about three players currently, and you have three attempts per game. So I'm going to click on play now. All right, let's play some flip jump. Let's see how I do. I have no idea how to play this, but oh, you can pick some characters. Looks like a bunch of block elephants. What color do we want? I want this guy with the shades. Let's do it. Let's click on the settings right here. Uh, turn the music down a little bit. Let's turn the other volume up a little bit let's hit home and let's hit play and we will figure out uh, and we will we will figure out how to play this game together tap and hold tap hold and release uh, all right Ooh. okay so essentially with this game you click down on the mouse you hold the mouse and you release to jump the longer you hold the mouse down the further you are to jump. As you can see, the second jump I did not do too well, and uh, my high score was five. So, you know, so far we're doing better than the rival team. That's good, but uh, let's let's try that again. Flip jump it is. Let's go. All right, press hold jump. All right, let's go. <laughs> oh man, I just jumped into the abyss. <laughs> uh, as you can see, I'm not very good at this game, but we're getting better. Or are we? I don't know. I'm staying about the same, actually, in reality. Let's go. Let's see if I can get a better score this time than five. <laughs> oh, I'm going to land on a record player. That's going to be really interesting. Boom. Let's go. Are you serious? I can't even get past the first jump. I just keep on getting five. All right. It won't be much, but the first person, <laughs> once this video is posted, the first person that beat my score at five. I'll send some zone to. How about that? Let's check back in seven minutes because there's seven minutes left and currently my team is still up five to nothing. Granted, uh, somebody else could come in on the rival team in the next seven minutes and beat this five points and then I won't win this 4.5 algo. So let's uh, let's circle back in about seven minutes and we will see if we won this game. In the meantime, let's play another game. Let's play bird bump. So we did just play flip jump. Now we're playing bird bump. I feel like I sound like Dr. Seuss over here. So just like before you sign the transaction, the entry fee for this one is 0.9 algo and the prize pool is 4.5 algo. All right, the transaction is signed and this particular game, there's two minutes and 48 seconds left. The rival team has 448 points and our team has 393 points. So we're already down a little bit. We have about two and a half minutes and three attempts to get this score up and win four and a half algo. So let's try it out. Bird bump. Let's go. Tap or hold. All right, that's pretty interesting. Avoid bumping your head against a ledge. 
How do I get past that point? Not really sure. Let's try it again. I'm not very good at these games, guys. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to say. If I keep if I keep making challenges to beat me in these games, uh, it's gonna be really easy to do so. I think I'm figuring out. Oh. <laughs> so close. So close. I definitely did better that time. We got 51. Uh, it looks like we're losing pretty bad now at this point, but we're going to give it another whirl. This is our last shot, our last attempt at this game. You get three attempts. We're likely to keep losing our algo over here at JT Invest in You, so please feel free to check out the description down below for a donation wallet. If you appreciate the content that I bring you, I try to bring you regularly feel free to donate to the wallet address that you find in the description below. It'll help pay for some of these games that I keep losing. Oh my god, I didn't even see that. <laughs> Jeez. All right, so I'm not very good at this game, but we'll circle back. We'll try that again in a little bit. I am really curious, since there's one minute left, if somebody's going to come in and pump my team up and and win but i do think that uh this is <laughs> i do think we lost this one guys all right let's play something that i'm semi good at let's play hoopstar we're just going to play every single one of these games and see if we win anything now these games aren't super complicated so if you get good at them you could win a decent amount of algo over time depending on how much time you have to play i mean if you won four or five algo every game and each game took a couple minutes to play i mean you could sit down for a couple hours and win a substantial amount of algo just for playing these games of course you have to be better at them than i am but <laughs> oh man look at this we might have the upper hand here your team 530 we're starting we're starting out strong let's go play now hoop star play tap and hold to start boom so this one you want to click on the hoop and keep holding it down and then you just want to drag it and catch these basketballs my score was six, which means I caught six basketballs, which really isn't that good. And our score is going down significantly. I'm not really sure how the scoring works, to be honest. Uh, maybe there's, you know, point detractions you get for missing baskets. But let's try that again because we have two temps remaining. Into the zone. Hoop star. Ooh, nighttime game. Let's go. Let's play some night ball. Boom. 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 Let's get it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 oh yeah, oh yeah. Starting to get a little stressful. We're coming out too fast, too fast, but we're still doing good. We're still doing strong. Come on, baby. It's too bad you only miss one and it's gone. Like, I want three strikes you're out or something, you know? I know that's baseball, but here here we are playing. Man, I'm doing, doing fantastic, at least compared to the last one. There's got to be, I mean, I'm not technical enough to do this, but I'd have to imagine there's some sort of bot that can hold this mouse down and just catch all these balls and just win the algo. Maybe I am that bot. Maybe that's just me. Boom. Oh, come on. I was doing so great. I jinxed it. 86. <laughs> 86 of those mashed potatoes. <laughs> if anyone if anyone in my audience has ever worked in a restaurant, they'll they'll. they'll They'll know what I mean by that. <laughs> All right, we've got one attempt remaining. Let's give that a shot. I like the nighttime games, honestly. It was easier to see. I'm a, I'm a night guy. But I also like dark mode view on like every app that I use, whether it's Twitter, YouTube, anything. Dark mode is the way. So this nice and sunny game, you know, it's not my preferred style. I bring back the uh, midnight hoops. Let's go. All right, let's see if I can be 86. I don't want to 86 myself. <laughs> oh yeah, just keep pumping them out right there. That'd be dope. I'll definitely win if I can. No, no. <laughs> I gotta stop talking so much smack to myself. <laughs> All right, so we're officially losing this game, and I don't think uh, I don't think we're gonna win algo from that one either. What do you guys think? All right, so we played hoop star, we played flip jump, we played bird jump. Now let's play some X trench run. 
This one was actually kind of fun. You're like flying around in a spaceship. It's definitely more my style. I'm not sure if anyone watched the previous video, but there was a little bit of a lag, so hopefully there won't be that much of a lag this time. However, the lag was just in the video. The gameplay itself on my end was very, very smooth. There was no lag on my end. Oh man, you gotta be smart and not do what I just did. See, rookie mistake here. I just entered a game when it had one minute left, which means there's not enough time to enter, uh, which essentially means I'm putting 0.9 algo in in hopes that the team that's already in there wins, and they're losing. So I essentially just lost 0.9 algo, not that big of a deal. It's like 30 cents, so not a huge issue. But just so you learn from my mistake, always check the time that's left and make sure you can actually enter the game you're about to click on or else you'll run into the issue that I just did uh, where you're basically just giving away 0.9 algo for, uh, for no reason. And in reality, I, I will say it would be nice if Zone made that so you couldn't do that and you couldn't just enter in your algo and not even play the game. But then again, at that point, it's kind of just like placing a bet, like you're placing a bet that the team that's already in there is going to win. Um, so maybe that should be allowed, but maybe a little bit of a warning that comes up that says, hey, this game's almost over. Are you sure you want to send this transaction or something like that uh, might be a good addition. And to be honest, I wouldn't doubt that they are listening to this uh, small little criticism and uh, may actually do something about it. So on that note, now that there's 10 minutes left in the game, let's try x Trench Run again and let's send another 0.9 algo to the pool in hopes that we win 4.5 algo. No promises, I am not good at these games, but I want to hear from you down in the comments or tag me on Twitter. Have you won any of these games? How good are you at these games? Have you even tried any of these games? Let me know down in the comments below, I'm really curious to hear. Alright, so the rival team is destroying us somehow, but that's alright. Let's play now. We've got three attempts, and we're going to make it happen, guys. We're going to destroy all the spaceships that come our way. Nothing's going to stop us. Let's get ourselves into the zone and win the max of Algo. Because, whew, not doing so great over here. I almost forgot how to play this one. The, all the other ones use a mouse. This one, you can use the left and right things, you know, and, and up, you can move up, down, left, right, space bar to shoot. Yeah. Nobody likes this guy. Oh. I got shot by a laser. I tried coming out here and saving the galaxy from the bad guys, and unfortunately, I let everyone down. I'm sorry, you know? The galaxy has two more attempts to be saved. We'll see if we can get it done this time. Honestly, I feel like the trick is like, don't even bother shooting things that you don't need to shoot. It's like a trap, because then you get in front of them. Alright, that one was totally my bad. I could have sworn I was shooting at it, but I missed. So, uh, we've got one more attempt to save the galaxy, and if not, well... You know, blame me for for whatever troubles come. <laughs> all right, so we have one more attempt to save the galaxy. I'm gonna give it my all. I'm gonna get in the zone and we're gonna make it happen. Let's shoot this thing. Those walls right there put down a little uh, uh there's a little force field behind them. If you don't shoot down these things, you can't get behind the force field. However, these little things that you're shooting uh, that were shooting at right there, you don't really need to worry about those. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh man, I don't know what it is about games, but they frustrate me so much. Like, I am a very calm and collected human in my in my day to day. But if I lose at a game, I just want to like throw this mouse across the room, even though it's 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 right here. It's definitely would be destroyed if I did that. But I'm not gonna lie. Certain, there's certainly that little bit of rage that happens. <laughs> so. This game, we've already done our three attempts, so six minutes left, and my team is losing bad. So, this is very, very unlikely that we're going to win any algo in this go-round, because, like I said, maybe I'll get better at these games, maybe I won't, but we've tried bird jump, we've tried flip jump, we've tried x-trench run, we've tried hoop star. Let's get on to some samurai rampage. Play now, let's go. I don't know what's going on, but all these games I'm starting with a team that's already behind the eight ball, so I think these games are a little hard to win. Uh, that being said, 
let me know. I really want to know down in the comments below who's winning. I'm so curious. Right, so this game's really good. It's kind of fun. slice them. I swear this dude's like a little potato. I'm really not sure. Yeah, yeah. I think this is the best I've done on anything so far. However, it does seem like the rival team is absolutely destroying us, which is very, very odd. How do you even get a score that high? Who's playing? Who's on the other side? Is it a bot? Who knows? Who knows? All right, let's go. Let's give it a round. Let's go, let's go. Let's slice and dice here. what I'm talking about. Round three. Slice. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what this thing is. I swear it's a <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
583. I didn't do as well as the time before. We got 604 on the one before. The first game I played, I got five points. Tag me, play that same game, beat five points, I'll send you some zone. Now play this samurai game and beat 604, I might also send you some zone. So tag me on Twitter with the proof of the games that you're playing. The two games that I just mentioned before, the first one, which honestly I already forget whether it was bird jump or flip jump, I think it was flip jump. So go back, watch the first one. I believe it was flip jump. Beat five, I'll send you some zone. Play the samurai game and beat 604 and I'll also send you some zone. The last game we haven't played yet today is cube form. And cube form is really interesting in a sense. It kind of reminds me of the old snake game with a little bit of a contemporary revamp. You know, for those of us that are 30 plus, uh, we remember the, the old Nokia phones that had the snake game in them. And this game kind of reminds me of it. I mean, anyone, anyone younger than 30 might have no idea what I'm talking about, but that's totally okay. Those are the same groups of people that had no idea that when you used to log on to the internet, it used to scream at you in very weird dial-up telephone language. I first played that sound to uh, to somebody I used to work with at a restaurant who was like 21, 22, and they had no idea what I was talking about. They had never heard the sound in their life before. It was like, I'm growing up as a kid just like picking up the telephone and all you can hear on the other end is, and then you hear your mother downstairs yelling, get off the phone, I'm on the computer. Because <laughs> you, you pick up the phone, the internet went through the phone lines, it would kick you off the internet. So not only would you get the craziest sound ever, but you'd also only be able to use either the telephone or the internet, and you couldn't use both. Nobody was on cell phones, and of course everyone was, you know, three-way calling each other or some bullcrap. Now that that little internet history lesson's out of the way, let's play some cube form uh, on this one. It, I believe you just kind of uh, turn this to the side. You have to use this to turn the, the platform itself, which is pretty interesting. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ooh, I did the wrong turn. Wrong turn. That's all right. 220 points. We're going to beat that next time. I have faith in myself. Do you have faith in me? Cube form. Bam, bam, bam. Tap to play. Let's hit it. Let's hit it. Let's hit it. So I didn't do that much better, or better at all, actually. And of course, we're back to that noob mistake I did before. You're supposed to have one attempt remaining because you have three attempts at these games, but they are on a time limit. There's 43 seconds left, and it will not let me enter into my third attempt. That is those six games. Cube Form, Bird Jump, Flip Jump, X Trench Run, Hoop Star, and Samurai Rampage. If you head on over to Zone Top Gun, here's where the prizes get a little heavier, and the entrance fee is one algo. We're going to play one more round of cube form over here because I am very committed in getting a higher score. Play now. Let's get it. Let's get it. Cube form. Tap to play. We're going to make a tap, tap, tap a roo. We're going to turn this like this because I felt like it. I'm going to turn it like this again. Turn it like that again. Mm. I'm really good at turning this. Uh, I don't know why I'm having a weird amount of fun narrating this game that I'm playing. I have no idea why. Oh! We did better. We did it. We beat the score. I was committed, and I told you I was going to do it, and I did it. But you know what? We technically have two more attempts before this one kicks us off, if there's enough time remaining. So let's try to beat 304 or whatever it is. Right, this is a pretty easy path right here. Oh! oh. <laughs> 304. 
304 was not defeated this time. 229, we've got 304 as our top score. Let's try that one more time and see if we can beat the top score. And then we'll wrap up this video, but I really want you all to stay to the end of this video. And I also want you to post those two games. It was, I believe, Flip Jump and the Samurai game. And I want you to beat both of my scores. Do so, and you might get some zones. But of course, you have to tag me on Twitter with the proof that you beat those high scores. And then I'll send you some zone. Alright, we're doing fantastic right now. Compared. Oh, the wrong way. Oh well, we beat our high score. 359. We did it. Look at us go. Alright, so this game ends in about 30 seconds. I'm very curious if I won any algo throughout this process. I really don't think I've won anything because most of the games I've played, I haven't been that good at, I'll be honest. Alright, it doesn't look like we won. We spent about 8 algo and we played, I believe, 8 or 9 different games with about 3 attempts apiece, which isn't that bad when you consider it. 8 algo at roughly around 30, 35 cents per algo means I just played all of these games for about 2 to 3 dollars. We played 8 games plus about 3 attempts apiece, so we played roughly 20 games for the cost of about 2 to 3 dollars. That's not too bad considering the fact that you could win a multiple of about 4 to 5x what you entered the game with. Now that just about wraps it up for this video and I want to hear from each and every one of you. Have you played any of these games? Have you won any of these games? And the first one to beat my high score in the two games mentioned in this video will win some zones. So hit me up on Twitter. If you're not following me there already, you definitely should at JT Invest in you. You'll find me there on Twitter. Also to support the channel further, check out the description down below for links to my newsletter, links to affiliate programs that'll help the channel, including links to Lofty AI, in which if you use my link in the description below, you will get $25 towards your purchase of tokenized real estate on the Algorand blockchain. I also want to remind everybody, if you haven't done so already, like this video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below for the YouTube algorithm, and then when you're done, head on over to the next block, which will be right here, and subscribe to that channel. We have a lot of fantastic interviews coming out. That is our weekly show with David and C. Will and myself. We hope to see you there. Please go and subscribe to that channel. Subscribe to this one if you haven't done so already, and go play some zones so you can beat my scores and win some zone tokens. Now with all that out of the way, I appreciate each and every one of you that sticks around to the end of this video, and we will catch you in the next episode.